Good morning, everybody. This is Ryan Carpenter with No BS Golf, presented by P45 Knuckle Down Golf. Hope everybody's getting ready here for the uh, <coughs> Players Championship Week. Another big one following the API, Scotty Scheffler, no surprise, winner. And, uh, you know, as, as, as is always, I typically kind of go around Twitter, kind of seeing what's going on in the general golf world for the most part. And there's all kinds of topics, of course, but... You know, one of them that's been uh, recent is this whole, you know, debate back and forth with Live Golf, Live Golf, by the way, uh, versus PGA Tour and all that stuff and whatever. You know, there's all kinds of takes there. But, you know, when it comes to the big picture of, you know, uh, golf and recreational golf especially, which is more of the, you know, area that I've, you know, worked within for the past 25 years teaching people how to play and, and yeah I've had some people that have gone on to play tournament and professional not professional like tour level golf but professional golf uh, but the majority much more focused on you know personal recreational golf at their club you know local tournaments with other amateurs you know things like that and you know the big picture is there's all these kinds of ideas and, and most of it stems from of course watching the PGA Tour as it's been the standard uh, of professional level golf for decades and you know it's there there's there's a lot of things in the golf world that especially if you're new if you haven't been around a long time it can become confusing and one of the things that's been really just you know annoying more than anything uh, coming coming from a lot of these discussions is that you know there's traditions and then there's a lot of new forming things in, in the world of golf and, and with people that play golf. Uh, some people like that, some people don't, you know, and of course that's the normal how it goes. But I think we have to get real with some of this stuff because while some traditions are great and, and, and honoring them and loving uh, the Masters, there's probably the easiest one, right? We all love the Masters. There ain't no doubt about that. Okay, well, there might be some weirdo out there that ain't like it, but whatever. There are so many traditions that are built within the Masters that we do love. There's no doubt about it. But that doesn't mean that all of the traditions that even exist at Augusta National have to be somehow adopted or um, transformed over to, you know, say your your, your local uh, tournament, your, your foursome with your guys on the weekend on Saturday, or your gals, whoever you're playing with. And so that's the big picture. And so the main topic I want to get to today is this whole – you know, trying to say that, you know, live golfers aren't real golfers because they wear shorts. Now, here's the big picture there. I can't think of anything more that makes sense than wearing shorts while playing golf, especially when it's hot and humid. <laughs> now, there's been this somehow translation that you can't be professional Unless you got pants on. And I can tell you right now, without a doubt, I've never once told an amateur golfer who has, you know, aspirations of making it up there to the professional level, hey, you know what, here's the thing. You got to start wearing pants because you can't play good golf unless you wear pants. You know why? There's no correlation to that in any way, shape, or form. <coughs> it's been a tradition that's been held on to probably for too long. <clears throat> and it's a tradition that doesn't really even make a whole lot of sense in reality because <clears throat> you've got this kind of old school, if you will, mentality built into it for one. And <clears throat> to somehow say that an article of clothing changes the way players play or compete is absolutely absurd. BS. Now, you can say that there's a look involved, and that's a whole other thing. And there is a look involved. But I don't remember, you know, anybody getting up in arms about, you know, professional women, golfers wearing skirts, you know. And and, and <clears throat> we certainly don't care about shorts in many other uh, levels of professional play, collegiate. Close enough to professional. I know they're not getting paid directly anyhow. Uh, but the whole the whole the thing is just absolutely absurd. <coughs> Excuse me. And I wanted to say that because 
there's going to be some people that you will run into in this golf world that are going to try to somehow impress upon you that you must wear certain things in order to be a part of this whole golf world. And that's just not true. And, and while I can agree with the fact that we may want to, you know, ho- hold some kind of standard for, you know, how you may be dressed to some degree, I, I think we need to put it aside and we really need to move on from this whole ridiculous idea. Yeah, golf shirt, collar. I, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I don't even care about the collar anymore. <clears throat> if somebody wants to wear a T-shirt and play golf, I, who gives a damn? I mean, I think we've <coughs> got ourselves caught up in this crap. And we need to move on. We need to get real about, and it's not just this. There's a lot of other things that relate to this because there are certain ways that the rulings are done, for example, for the world of golf. And everybody says the same thing. Oh, well, you know, we all play the same game. Well, I got news for you. No, we do not. (coughs) While you can choose to play the same golf courses as a professional, while you can choose to play from the tips like them, that don't mean you have to. And it certainly doesn't mean that everybody needs to in order to be a part of this and enjoy this game and learn to, to get better at it and, and have fun. And, and so a lot of these traditions, you know, the reality is is that some of them are laced with too much BS. And we've got to begin to lighten some of that and, and allow more people to come in and enjoy. And I know there's other parts like... <clears throat> music on the course and your cell phone. The, the big picture is this. No matter what the topic is, it doesn't matter that you have a view or a belief. That's totally fine. But we don't want to create barriers to this game. The whole idea is to get more people involved and playing. And so I think we need to look at it from a realistic standpoint. Shorts should not be anything to anyone at any level. And it's absolutely absurd. If it's hot, 100 degrees, 100% humidity, like, seriously, let's, we gotta stop that nonsense. But it's also because we look at it and then that, that view of those best players out there starts to translate to to what people think they need to do. And it's just, it's total BS. So we gotta get rid of that. You know, and so that's the big picture. I don't want everybody out there absorbing things from the typical sources that they get, which is really watching professional golf, the the PGA Tour mostly for most people, and have a thought that everything you see and hear there is absolutely 100% the way golf should be. That's not true. And it's important that, especially if you're trying to get better at this, that you need to actually go find someone who knows these things, a good instructor who can help you, not just with your game, not just how to hit it and all that stuff. We'll get into more of that, of course, but... You know, being able to understand the reality of what golf is, is huge, especially for beginner golfers. And the other part for beginner golfers is we want it to be fun and enjoyable. And if one of the things that get introduced is, hey, you got to wear pants, or, I, you know, I got another one, a country club I worked at years ago. If you wear shorts, you got to wear long socks up to your knees or whatever. It's just, it's... We got we got to we got to lighten the load on some of this stuff. So, anyways, uh, go ahead and uh, hit the like button, subscribe for sure, share, let people know uh, what's going on over here at No BS Golf. I'm gonna come back at you with a few more videos here real soon. And uh, if you have any questions, always reach out. Feel free. Enjoy the Players Championship. As always, it should be a decent event. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have all of the best players this year uh, due to the uh, fracture in golf. But you know what? It is what it is, and it's going to move on and take its course and be what it is. So for now, let's just enjoy what we got. Everybody take care. We'll see you soon. Ryan Carpenter out.